What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Bags and today my dudes we're gonna be going over a snapshot on the new 1.20 features. So let's get started on today's video. Alright, so to start this video off, we're gonna check out the brand new Skulk sensor and it might be looking a little funny to you. As you can see, this Skulk sensor has an amethyst shard smashed into the center of it versus our regular Skulk sensor like this. Now, this new Skulk sensor is called the Calibrated Skulk sensor and it's got some cool new features we're gonna be going over. Now, first you might be wondering, how do I get one of these? Well, all you gotta do is find one Skulk sensor and then you actually have to craft it using amethyst shards just like that in a triangle formation here and you get the calibrated skulk sensor all right now these things are a little bit tricky and i haven't done a ton of research on them and i haven't played a lot of minecraft recently with redstone but how i'm gonna understand this is one side of the calibrated skulk sensor can receive a redstone signal as an input so when you actually set up that input and turn it on you've now silenced this skulk sensor. Now, I don't know if that works the same with other skulk sensors. We can take a peek right now just to see because I haven't really played too much Minecraft recently. So I'm not 100% sure if that's how these things work anyways. Oh, it's not. So as we can see, we can actually turn off the skulk sensor using the uh, lever here versus this other skulk sensor. It's just running constantly even when it has a redstone input. So it looks like we can actually control the behavior of this calibrated skulk sensor versus the OG sensor as I'm jumping around here. The OG sensor is still picking up my signal when you have an input to it. A little bit tricky, a little bit complicated, but I'm sure those big farm dudes out there are going to make some crazy stuff with this. All right, my dudes, the next part of this update is Suspicious Gravel running up to the archaeology update here. Now, we're going to talk about this new Suspicious Gravel. Do you, Can you tell? Let's just say this off the start. Can you tell which one the Suspicious Gravel is? It's on my left here. So it's pretty sus. So as we can see, we can use the brush. If you guys aren't familiar with the brush, the brush came out last snapshot. And uh, basically, the brush can uncover uh, objects that were lost in Suspicious Sand and Suspicious Gravel now. So as we can see, we start to... To unveil the item now I think this only works when it's naturally yeah like the gravel has to be naturally put in the world and we're gonna check that out right now now it says it can be found at the ocean ruins so we're gonna hop down here and apparently you can find it in the ocean ruins oh here we go that that looks like suspicious okay what's coming out of it oh it's a piece of coal that was kind of lame uh, hold on. So we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna keep looking. Now, of course, you might want to have a uh, a, um, a potion for water breathing on while doing this. Oh, here we go. So we found a piece of a pottery shard, which is pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll go over that in a bit. The pottery shards. Um, but if you've seen previous videos, I actually have done on them, and they're really neat. So basically, you just look around for the sus sand. It looks like there's a piece right here. Oh, look at this. No, I am totally wrong. I can't tell the gravel apart from the sus gravel. I, I don't know. It looks identical. But anyways, you will get pieces of pottery shards and all kinds of other random things out of this gravel, which is really cool. Now, if you guys didn't know, there is suspicious sand as well, and it works the same way, but it's found in desert temples. These are found at the ocean monuments. I mean, ocean ruins, excuse me. Um, so yeah, they're basically both the same. You use the brush to uncover items from them, which is really cool. Example, like the Plenty Pottery Shard. All right, now talking pottery shards right here. As we can see, there's tons of different pottery shards. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see them. So we have the Angler Pottery Shard, Archer, Arms Up, Blade, Brewer, Burn, Danger, Explorer, Friend, Shelter, Sheath, Prize, Plenty, Mourner, Miner, Howl, Heartbreak, heart pottery shard and skull and snort so there's all kinds of different pottery shards that we can make into pots and i'm going to show you guys how to make them into pots right now so if we take four of these pottery shards or clay bricks this work with, works with clay bricks if you put clay bricks in here it'll make a plain pot or you can put whatever design you want in this schematic here and we can pull out a decorated pot. So we're gonna pull out this decorated pot and take a peek. All right, look at that, that's pretty cool. We got the skull on one side. I don't know what the heck that is on there and the skull on the other side. So it looks pretty damn cool if you ask me, I like it. Oh, oh, it's the sniffer. It's the sniffer. Oh, I couldn't even tell that 
at first I was like, is that what is that? I thought it was like a skull with like something on here, but it's the sniffer, of course. That's the snort one. So there you go. That's how to actually go ahead and obtain these pottery shards. Build your pots, and you can build any design you want, as you guys can see here. All right, so our first site we actually ran into when they first released the archaeology little info here, we found out that we could actually find these shards and suspicious sand in the desert temples. Now they've actually released this new one, which is really cool. This is called a trail ruins, a buried structure from a lost culture. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw us in spectator mode. We're just gonna see what the heck we're looking at here. Oh my god. Okay, let me get some let me get some night vision here. Alright, so we've got some night vision going, and as we can see here, this is a trail ruin, and I think it's full of sus items. That's my guess here. Now if I drop into creative mode here, so I think it's gonna have suspicious. Oh, I just destroyed whatever that was. I think it was just uh terracotta, so no no big deal here. But as we can see, we dig up these items and there's probably gonna be sus sand and sus gravel all in these items and you're gonna be able to find, it's a lot of terracotta and mud bricks it looks like, um, mixed with sand and uh, oh, even glazed terracotta up here as we can see. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna be able to find this suspicious sand, you're gonna be able to dig up with the brush and you're gonna be able to find shards of these pots from the ancient people whoever put them here. <laughs> I didn't know what else to call them. Uh, the, the OGs, you know, the OGs from back in the day. You know, they came along. But as you can see, that is the trail ruins. The terracotta be, you know, having a great time here. And mud bricks, god damn, look at the mud bricks, they're everywhere. So yeah, this is called the trail ruins. It's gonna be one of three actually uh, areas where you can use the brush and the archeology span sites. The first one is gonna be the desert temples with the suspicious sand. This one is the second one. You got suspicious sand, suspicious gravel. And then the third one is actually the ocean ruins that we were at earlier. So pretty cool. All right, dudes, we are down in the ocean again. Now, this is a particular ocean, the warm oceans. Now, what we're looking for is what's in my hand, the sniffer egg. So apparently you're actually gonna be able to find the sniffer egg down in these warm ocean ruins. Um, I'm not sure where the suspicious sand is, but you're gonna be able to uncover them from sus sand. Now, I don't know if I broke the sand because I'm not going to lie, I jumped down here. But one of these should be a sus sand and you should be able to find this large sniffer egg out of it, which is really cool looking. Look at this egg. It's a natural egg in Minecraft. Not a spawn egg like this. It's an actual sniffer egg, which is really cool. And let's go to shore and see what we can do. All right, so after we obtain the egg from the ocean ruins in the suspicious sand, if you're lucky enough, we can actually plant the egg on moss. Boom, oh my God, this looks like a mod, dudes. This is insane. So as you can see, we just planted a, I was gonna call a suspicious, uh, a suspicious sniffer, but it's not a sus sniffer, I promise you. So basically you plant these eggs for 10 minutes, it'll take 10 minutes and they will hatch after 10 minutes. Now, I do wanna check this, I'm very interested. Um, okay, we're gonna turn it to night. I have to turn it to night. And then we have to spawn a zombie. I, I just want to see something, okay? I want to see if the zombies will try to eat the eggs. Because you know turtle eggs. Watch turtle eggs, right? Okay, it doesn't look like it. I, I just wanted to test it. But look at turtle eggs. I, I, aren't they supposed to attack turtle eggs? Okay, maybe this zombie's just stupid. Maybe that zombie's just stupid. There you go. Okay, they jump on them, right? They jump on them. It doesn't look like they jump on these. Okay, that's awesome. That's good. So our sniffers aren't going to die. Well, not yet, at least from this update. All right, coming into this update, we actually have a new seed the sniffer can pop up. Now, if you guys didn't see the torch flower seed, this is the torch flower seed, and this is the torch flower. Before, he would just, you know, go ahead and sniff up these torch flower seeds in the last update here. But now, and then they turn into that torch flower, which is really pretty, don't get me wrong. And then you can turn it into orange dye. But don't get me wrong, that was cool. But now you can actually get the pitcher pod. Now, I don't know how this works yet, so we're going to figure it out together. So apparently you take the pitcher pod, 
he can basically sniff it up. You get it from him, right? You go ahead and collect it from him. Dude, we're gonna make we're gonna make so many farms out of these sniffers. You're gonna put them in one area all on top of hop. Well, I guess can't do it on top of hoppers, but we'll fit we'll figure it out. Oh, you could probably do something. You could probably run a railway system underneath it. But boom! As you can see, he just go ahead and uh, got us a torch flower seed. But we get the pitcher pod, so the next thing we're gonna do is get a hoe. Excuse me, but ready for this? All right, we got the hoe and uh, we plant the pitcher pod in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and get some bone meal. Just wait for it. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. And boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, I haven't seen this. So this is my first time seeing it. That's really pretty. Now, just real quick, when we go in survival mode, can we harvest it? Oh my God, you can. What the heck is this? It's like an alien. It looks like an alien. What do you guys think? Oh, now it's lower. Did you notice that versus the one we actually uh, planted first? Watch this. So when you plant it, oh, you plant it in the pod and then it grows out of the pod. Wow, that's so cool. I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I actually really think it's cool. It's definitely a weird looking. Now, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we move on to a different section here. Hold on. Let me see if I get some bone meal. Can I duplicate this boy? Oh, you can't. You can't duplicate it. Okay, no, no. All right. So that's it for the sniffer. Pretty epic. You can find his eggs down in suspicious sand. He can sniff up torch flower seeds, turn them into torch flowers. And then, of course, now the new pod, which is pretty dope. I like it. And of course, yes, you can breed these boys just like last time. So pretty neat. All right. Coming up next, we have signs. Signs. This is going to be a cool one. So I'm just going to put sub to me if you're cool. Okay. So if you want to, you can. Now, normally signs, they were never editable. Editable after you place them. Sure. Let's say that like that. Now, you can actually edit them after you place them. Really, really cool, as you guys can see. I think that's pretty dope. And hold on, if we want to write something here. Hi, right? And then we go on this side. Hi. So now we can actually go ahead and write on both sides of the signs and you can edit them at any time. No more breaking and no more being annoying and breaking them and stuff. It just makes it good. Now, one really cool thing is we can do this as well. If we go grab some wax, oh, not Max, wax. Sorry, Max, you're gonna have to stay. Wait, no, not, not wax, honeycombs. Honeycombs, sorry, it's been a while since I played Minecraft. You know, I forget stuff. Okay, you wax it, now you can't edit it. Yeah, that's right, boy, and it makes a little squishy noise. Oh, damn, dude, look at that. So now once you wax it, just like copper, you know, when you wax the copper, it doesn't oxidize. Well, now you can't edit your signs, which is pretty cool. I like it, I think it's so neat, like, Hello, and then you can just go on the other side. Goodbye, see you later, see ya. All right, for the last part of this new snapshot, we have some new armor trims. I don't know how you guys feel about armor trims. I think they're pretty okay. I think they're pretty cool. It's a way to customize yourself in the game. And uh, yeah, so we have some new armor trims. Now, if you haven't seen armor trims yet, there's tons of other ones that just got added, but this is the newest ones we have, and these ones are actually gonna be able to be found at Trail Ruins. So you remember that ruin that we found with all the terracotta and random stuff? at it earlier well you're gonna be able to find these four at those ruins okay so these are the four you're gonna run into this one's called the wayfinder armor trim razor sharper and host now we have a new one here which is really really cool check this one out this one is called the silence armor trim now this one is found in the ancient city as you can tell it almost looks like the warden uh, well, it doesn't look like the warden, but he's, it's got his colors, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and throw these on some armor. And uh, what the heck happened to my armor? Let's grab some armor. What should we grab? Let's grab some netherite armor. Let's take a peek on how this looks on it. So let's go with a diamond. Let's do this. So we're going to put our trim here. I believe this is how it works. You put the trim here. You put the armor here. You put the item here. And boom, there is our helmet. Damn, dude. Let me put that on me real quick. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty dope. I I don't know. It's just okay. It's all right. It's, it's kind of weird looking in a way. But I feel like it would look cooler. Oh, wait. You got to put the trim first, then the armor, and then your item. So let's try the netherite block and see what well, netherite ingot and see what it does. And uh, oh, it just kind of makes it like black. Oh, it's kind of like bony looking hold on let me i'll show you i'll show you don't even stress look at that okay that's pretty cool not gonna lie that's a pretty cool armor set so yeah those are the new armor trim as you can see and these i like this silence one this one's really cool 
it looks really good with the netherite ingot with the netherite armor with the uh silence armor trim really really cool there's tons of things to go over with armor trims and i will make an update video on armor trims and talking about all the different armor trims and where to find them and i'm just kind of doing a short preview today so don't worry if you want to see more it will be coming soon and other than that my dudes that is going to be it for this snapshot this snapshot was called the 23w 12a snapshot and we're getting really close to minecraft 1.20 so if you guys are excited for it don't forget to smash like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next minecraft video peace out my dudes